look, I wish this video was 100% clickbait and that I didn't have to change my aerial binds because of this new discovery, but unfortunately it's not. And I, th I think after six years, I have to change. I was going to make it like an updated, like learn how to aerial video um, pretty soon, but this is taking me completely off guard. And so that's going to have to wait. But to be honest, this could not have come out. Sorry. <clears throat> This could not have come out at a better time because this whole thing originates around one player uh, and that is Zen. And I'm sure a bunch of you know Zen. If you've been following the one scene, you definitely know Zen. But uh, Zen was a player that was previously banned and has now just been unbanned and will be playing for Team Vitality in the next split. But before we dive in and talk about the new discovery based on air rolling, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor who is helping you to earn real money just by playing Rocket League ranked games. Today's sponsor is crazy because it actually lets you earn money by simply playing ranks. And that's all thanks to repeat.gg. Repeat is a tournament platform run by Sony. It's incredibly simple. You just have to link your Epic ID on the Repeat website and then join one of the tournaments and that's it. It really is that simple. You then just go and play your normal ranked games and it's going to track your games using what you see here as the point system and then only your best three games will be tracked on the leaderboard. So. You have three banger games over the course of the time the tournament is available and you get yourself a chance to earn some serious money. The higher up the leaderboard, the more you earn. As some of you might know, Jayza and Sunless both have tournaments you should definitely get involved in, but you can also sign up for as many tournaments as you want all at the same time. And you don't need to worry about smurfs as Repeat has people monitoring these just in case to ban these people. So get involved, get your account linked on the site and get to playing some rank to try and win some easy money or prizes. Now, to be completely honest, this might not be completely new to all of you, but it took me completely by storm. I had no idea this was a thing and it makes so much sense in hindsight, but it might be the same with you. You, you might not uh, know that this is a thing, but now looking at it, you'll be like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. So Pascal says there is a reason why Zen's movement is so different. Let me explain. And then the thread. He has directional air roll bound to L2, which makes it a dynamic input where he has control of the pace of that air roll. But does that make a difference? So what this means is I have my directional air roll on square and circle. So my left is on square, my right is on circle. And that's kind of what I've recommended to a lot of people because it's most natural. It's where your thumb kind of sits naturally. It makes sense. If I press air roll left, my square button for a second, it moves for a second. Whereas if you have it to L2, you can kind of feather the trigger so that maybe you move a little bit. You don't have to, it's not a one-to-one -one input. Pressing the button does not make the impact. Is you can push the trigger slowly and the car will start to turn slowly. And that makes so much sense. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but here you go. Here you can see with my air roll left bound to L2, you can witness massive speed changes depending on how hard I press the button down. I can go slow and steady to maximize control or very quick to be speedy while not using my stick at all. With my camera out of the way. Okay. So he takes off, he holds L2 so he's spinning and then he starts to lightly touch it and you can see the car starts to slowly turn. Now this tiny adjustment, you aren't going to get that with a one to one input with square or circle. The tiny turns are from just kind of lightly tapping the L2 button, the trigger, because it's a dynamic input. So you can hold it down to spin the car fast or you can lightly touch it and the car will slightly move to the side. He goes on to say this can be very useful and might actually change the way we see first touches, maybe even more. Here's a very simple air dribble setup. Obviously, this one is only me fooling around, but if perfected, it could be the key to insane first touches and follow ups. So have a look here. Eight second long. He goes up. Look at this touch. So normal. And then he's like that control, that slight, slight touch using the L2 button to just feather your way into it. You can remain like you can keep control of the ball so much better if you just slightly turn into it instead of rotating the entire car through uh, due to like pressing the square button or pressing a direct button instead of pressing a trigger. Let's take a look at Zen. The most important thing here is the momentum change of the approach to the second reset, which is at 16 seconds, which we're going to focus on in a second which can be explained through a dynamic air roll bind. Very subtle, but important if you want to have Zen-esque movement, which I'm sure if you've seen Zen, you'll all want Zen-esque movement. Let's have a look. It's coming up to here, I believe. So Zen gets control of the ball. Slight touches, perfect touch on the bottom, and then getting into the reset position. Right, it's, it's, it's very, it's so slight. It's so slight. I can try and pinpoint it for you. It's almost too slight to explain, but they, they do a good, 
a good example here. It's the very, very slight movement between resets. Right here. And there. Like, immediately moving your car into a position to get a second reset. He then finishes with, This presents a new mechanical dimension to us, where we can control the pace of our spinning to the fullest to achieve the highest consistency ever witnessed. And then, unfortunately, keyboard and mouse players will get a disadvantage through as they can't really have dynamic inputs because, once again, through keyboard and mouse, you only have the one-to-one -one input of pressing a button down and that button uh, input being uh, being uh, processed. Zen. Zen's dynamic air roll through a trigger input instead of a button input. I think this is then explained a little bit more by Violent Panda. He said, just wanted to test it out and was correct. What this also allows is instead of side flipping while holding air roll and jumping, it allows you to slightly hold it down and still jump upwards since it hasn't detected a full air roll yet. Have a look at the controller below. So I'll show you this one as well. This one is really interesting to me. It, it offers a lot, but I can't quite tell how it'll be offered just yet. So as you can see, as he jumps up, he's obviously, he's using box mod to get unlimited jumps just to show you the extent this can be used. But you can slightly turn your car to the side and, and empty jump almost. So this, this dynamic air roll button is a completely different way of looking at how we air roll, how we control our speed in the air, how we control the speed of our rotation, the rotation of our car, a bit of everything. Like this thing I've never really looked at ever and always being like, oh yeah, my aero binds are fine, like I don't need to change them. This is a completely different way to impact the game. And whether or not it's like a really, really small thing, right now everyone will be like, oh, this is just a minor thing, I don't need to think about it. It's a really small thing, I don't need to think about it. But then you look two, three seasons down the track, this could be the thing that kind of another game-defining thing. This could be one of those game-defining discoveries that if you don't change to it, you get left behind. Just like when we had the, the flip reset was first brought in or the ceiling shot was first brought in and people thought it was one of those niche things that don't really get used and now look at the game. So if you don't want to get left behind, if you're learning how to air roll now, I would say you should put your air rolls, uh, just one directional air roll if you want, on L2 because in the air you can't reverse anyway. So. It's not really hindering you at all. If you want to reach the very top of this game, you should seriously, seriously consider changing your one of your air roll binds, one of your directional air roll binds, to this L2 button that is completely unused while in the air. Because all it's going to do is offer you greater control of your car in the air and be able to change the pace of your spinning. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped some of you guys out. And if it did, please let me know. I don't really like doing the like and subscribe thing because it, it feels very... Uh, and I don't know. It feels kind of weird for me. But I'll do it now. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it, it does help the channel out a lot. Um, I just don't like saying it for some reason. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe to the channel because... <clears throat> and if you want to see more, please do sub to the channel because... I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.